What is it about TM that makes it so special? And can you compare that to other ways that you can relax? In other words, biofeedback, whatever it is. There's so many different kinds of yoga. Is there a difference when you're actually looking at it scientifically in terms of the waves? In other words, are there some people who don't respond and maybe they try a different kind of meditation? My other question is for Dr. Stixford, which is, it's so obvious that it's so powerful. That segment you had was incredible about what's going on in the schools with the kids who do it. Why is this not taken to a federal level and mandated to be done in every school? So we're going to have Dr. Travis answer, and we're going to come back to Dr. Stixrud in eight minutes. I mean, yeah. So what's I'm unique? A, I'm a control freak. <laughs> so it's an excellent question. The What's unique about TM is, remember, it's in a category of effort of automatic self-transcending. So it's in a category of meditations which actually start with thinking, start with feeling, start with doing, but just end up with being. The mind actually settles down. And the way that happens is, and the only way for it to happen, is using the natural tendency of the mind. If you try to settle the mind, quiet the mind, by doing something in the mind, it doesn't work because the mind is active trying to quiet the mind. And this has been some misunderstanding that, of meditations and why some people think meditation is difficult. So this is a unique thing about TM. It's in this automatic self-transcending category. It's structured for transcending. That's its very purpose. Other meditations, um, yoga has, yoga asanas have a completely different purpose and it's also extremely valuable. Yoga helps to keep the physiology limber and keep the, the energy moving through the body. Um, other meditation techniques are have different purposes. And for those purposes that they're designed for, they also excel. But TM, its unique part is effortless transcending. 